Hello! This is basic too. And well, you know, you know, it won. Of course it would. It was, uh, well, it was pretty, all, pretty obvious that uh, Crest 2 would uh, triumph over Mario Sunshine. So, well, here it is. Crash Bandicoot 2! Redone with 2013 commentary. How about that, huh? Crash Bandicoot 2. Or Crash Bandicoot. Crash Stop. Stop. We get. Yeah, a new game! Oh, I had to get that out of the way. We'll watch the fast little intro cutscene and see if it like, starts up right where Crash Mall left off, you know? If you don't go by the non-canon ending, you know, when they ride away with the vulture and crap. <laughs> Crystals. Of, of course. course. Oh. Yeah. This game has, like, been done to death, you know? It really has. Whatever, it was my first LP as well, but... Ah, it's so bad! I don't know what the hell I was thinking when I did that. Slave crystals from the surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? You fool! Left. Do you think I'm unaware left. of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we need to find an enemy. Of course. And there he is, our hero, Crash. Crash. Little slacker. Crash. Stoner, probably. Crash. I always thought that Crash, who is like a type of smokes so weed. Big I don't and know if you have a dad, but. For me. I mean, kind of feels like he is a weed smoker. I don't know. Alright, so here we go. We start. Music starts up when we cross that um, uh, ledge. No, that gap. That pit. So pointless. I mean, this game is so much more comfortable to play than uh, Crash 1. If you catch my drift. I mean, the controls are outstanding in this one. You see, he has new moves, he can crawl, do the belly, flop, do the slide jump, slide in, general, you know. So it was totally pointless to get all the boxes here and just yeah, transport away up in the air, I guess. And the white is green! I think that was like the first time I point. And that was the first video I did with commentary, which was, in, was a let's play. And then I said, white is green, right there. Well, 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 if it is a grass bandicoot, ho, well, ho, ho. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. Yeah, I hear that. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. They're not really that well-hidden, you know. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. We will speak. Okay, cut short. I think it was gonna say I will speak again. I don't know. Um, some of my commentary in this LP might be like reused. I don't. I don't remember exactly what I said when I did my first LP of this game. So some bits may, you know, be the same as in the first one. So let's just get started here. Let's not delay. The turtle wood. We'll get the blue gem. We'll get the box gem, and we'll get the crystal. All oh, that's well in the first attempt. Let's see. Why to scrap? And by the way, that intro in the beginning, you know, we played, that's not really up. Op that's optional, you don't have to do that, but it's kind of good you have to do it because you get one one up and a mask, so that's awesome. So, as well, as we should to get this done the fastest way, we will need to complete the level without breaking any boxes, and that will result in us getting the blue gem. You should know that, that's like basic. Um, but as soon as we'll have the blue gem, we will just die, start back from the beginning as we haven't grabbed any checkpoints, and do the level yet again, and then get the box gem as well. That's how you cut your time short. So I don't think there's... yeah, no worries. So we can... I don't... I don't really... I'm not that good with the slide spin move. You know, I've never really used it. Uh, so I probably won't because it doesn't feel natural for me to do it. Because I've never done it before. I just learned about it like last year. Like to, in 2012, you know. You see, that uh, worked. S 
So as you say, it was all the box counter, zero boxes, and, well, the blue gem. But, screw that. Gillette's just die. Kinda sucks that we lose our mask, but it's totally worth it. Yay. We have four lives. Let's kill Mary. Let's do this again then. That's the quickest way to do it. I didn't do that in my first, uh, my first time playing this game. I've never done that really, to be honest. Uh, but I kind of thought, you know, let's do it like that because it's a lot faster. And well, so let's get this. I don't know. Level done. Doesn't take that long. I don't know how long we'll play in this part. I have no idea. But we will I think we'll do like at least two more levels as these early levels go by really fast. I think, I I think I have to say that. I mean, back in the day, I thought this was my least favorite of the Crash Bandicoot games. The Naughty Dog games. But I think it has really grown on me because now I consider this the best of the Naughty Dog trilogy. If you don't count like Crash and Racing, but that's not really a uh, Crash Bandicoot, you know, platformer game, so it doesn't really count. It's more of a spin off, you know? But I think I prefer this game over the third one, and I think I have to place the third one lowest of the Naughty Dog games, really. Because it has so much stuff I don't like in it. I mean, all the vehicle levels, which I hate, especially the ones where you're, when you're playing as Coco, I think they're really bad. They really went, like, crazy over that one feature. This game features, like, 25 levels, 25 regular levels, you can say, which are all platforming. Almost, there's like two riding levels, two jetpack levels, but then I, I don't count the hidden levels when I, you know, say that. Yeah, and hit, one of the hidden levels is a riding level, so I guess it's like three riding levels and two jetpack levels. Uh, but otherwise, it's just straight pl platforming, which I find the most enjoyable. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think Crash 3 is great, but I mean, there's just so much crap in it I don't like at all. As I said, the vehicle levels, they really suck. But I mean, uh, the time trials give the game, like, more bang for your buck, you know, because it's, it can hold up a bit longer because you have something to do when you're done with the main game. You can, like, try to beat your times, get a awesome... Is that how you do it? That the... Ooh. I thought that was gonna reach, but never mind. 10 lives, cool. Cool beans, right there. Wait, that's kind of also why the reason I want to hold off on making a Crash 3 LP for now, because... Uh, just, uh, I think it's the... The one I find the least enjoyable of the Naughty Dog games, but... You know, might... I might do it sometime. Also, I noticed, like, there was a lot of people, kind of recently, that did Crash 3 LPs. You know, Tanjum 360, DM, uh, Pinstrap Paragon. There's probably some more guys as well. I mean, uh, Myru too, I think did it as well. So, you know, let's hold off for Crash 3 for a while. Um, you know, the thing about that uh, Nintendo thing where they like said that they would like post ads on your videos if you like made LPs on their games. I don't really. Well done, has that gone into effect I I even? Because I, I have no like advertising and no match content from third party on my uh, Super Smash videos or my Animal Crossing video or anything like that. So I wonder if it's only for the new games to do that, or it hasn't been like applied yet. So it's not working. Currently. Or it's like going underway. So like maybe like my really small channels like mine haven't been affected yet, but it might be later on, you know. No, we're not! Alright, second level, Snow Go. So we'll get, like... I know you can get the red gem in the first visit here. You're not normally supposed to do that, but I know it is possible. And, you know, if there's a will, there is a way. So hopefully, I'll get it in this video. That Because I've never done that before. But I think I know exactly... I know exactly how to do it. So that will be pretty awesome, right? There we go, all the boxes there. Awesome. Might be a little rusty. I really can't pick up the 
remember exactly all the levels in which I need to backtrack and do stupid crap and where I can get where I can't get all the boxes in the first visit. But I'm pretty sure that you can get all the boxes in the first time you're visiting this level. Like 90% sure. The red gem isn't now, right? It's, it's, oh, it's here, right? No, wait, is it? How the fuck are you supposed to do this? And you're supposed to like bounce on that ceiling and get up there like... You see how close that is? Like... Snap. Uh... If I don't get it, I will just... Oh, what the fuck, man! <laughs> Dude, I know it sucks kinda lose, to lose my masks, but... Am I supposed to... How the fuck am I supposed to do this? No, oh, not like that. I'll cut that out. I cut out like all the parts until I like get it. What the frick? Dude, how the fuck are you supposed to? One more. I know it's it's possible to do it. If I don't get it like done in this attempt, I will look it up on YouTube because no fuck. All right, I'll see you when I get this done. What have we got? Yeah, there we go! That's how you do it! Like a barrels. So, we got the wrench. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I died a couple of times. Well, pretty embarrassing, but... I mean, we got the red gem. How about that? Huh? That's so awesome. Pretty beast, right? Yeah. I know it was something I did wrong there, but... I had to look it up, but... You know, it worked. Awesome. Awesome as crap. Well, I don't... Well, crap isn't awesome, really. It's just awesome to take a crap there. Uh, I got all the boxes right. It would be a shame if I missed them all. Yep. Oh, screw it. I'm very sure I didn't lose it. Or mess any boxes. Lose any boxes. See, I got a mask also because I died in the same place so many times, so the game is, like, kind to me right now. That's good. We'll see back in 11 lives, lives already. Pretty good. Pretty good. Doing good. Good. Awesome. Well, you can't really, like kill them when or kill them. I don't know. Well, you probably do kill them when you spin them away like that. What else can I do? Oh, shit. Shit. That wasn't uh, what I intended. The, what? The fuck, man? There we go. Oh, okay. 69 boxes. Yeah! So, this level is also complete, so we get two color gems in the first two levels. How about that, huh? Pretty awesome, right? Uh, I guess we can do, uh, the next, no, no. You know what? No, yeah, we'll, we will do the next level as well, because I have some editing to do in this video. Oh, crap, Cortex, wanna blabber on some more? Really? Oh, Embryo. Oh. You are helping Cortex gather crystals. Yet you have acquired a gem. Interesting. Well, Crash. <laughs> no, this. Yes. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to, to, to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must. G g Gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to focus a laser, <laughs> a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he's created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering. From gathering, yeah, yeah. gathering uh, cut off. Hang eight for level. Yeah. Uh, both gems, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we probably will. If we can, we will. No, this doesn't have any chase. No, time trial in it, right? That's not until a little later. Things, right? I don't remember. Oh, it doesn't because it would have started by now. No, oh crap, it does. Why the fuck did I get the ship? Oh no! Dude, stupid. I have one attempt. Okay. Uh, screw all the boxes for now. 
through and hopefully we can make it. Hopefully. Come on now. Don't disappoint. You do this, man. I'm not blue. like I need a crystal right now. I can just gotta focus on beating a level before the time is up. Just grab the crystal later. Come on out. Come on out. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, screw that. I don't care. Alright, yeah, it's in the bag. If I fail like that, then I'm like the worst press player ever. As you see, five seconds to spare. Awesome shit, man. Alright, so let's die. Whoa! How the hell does that kill him? He's just like floating there, chilling. I mean, no. Weird. So, let's get all the boxes then. I bought, yeah, just, yeah. This, as I saw, this uh, level has a gem platform over there, the blue one. Uh, I was like thinking, okay, it just has an alternate route, but that route just leads to some more boxes that we can get. Yes, we can. So we can get the box gem as well. So we'll get like eight gem. No, I don't know. I can't count for shit. Right? Three crystals and six gems in the first part, alright? That's pretty snappy right there. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, yeah, as I said in uh, one part of Crash 1, this is like this is like the bonus round that resembles one from Crash 1. And I really like the background here, and I like the music as well. The music on... The music? The music on these bonus rounds look like, like this is truly awesome. Really good. So classic, reminds me of like the 90s when I first got this game. I think I got it during the spring of 99. That home. It was. It was awesome as hell though. Awesome stuff. I mean two years after it was released, but I don't care. I don't think Crash 3 was released in Europe until like uh, early 99. It was very late 98. I do not remember that. All I know is that I got Crash 3 for my 8th birthday and I was so happy. It really was. That was so awesome. As you see, we're in the on blue jump pad right now. And just grab some boxes. Oh crap, I don't like these sections here. Or sections like this. Like, more. Ah, oh, you see? I'm so you. I said that in my first time doing this in PS1. But I'm so used to the controls in Crash 1 because. You know, that was the most recent question I played. And that was like, how long since I finished? Three weeks? Okay. I finished on the 10th of May, right? The snap, that's all. Yeah, about three weeks. Right? Yeah. How's today's the first of June when I'm recording? Because, you know, I can't really. I don't want to waste my entire Sunday by recording because I want to do something else tomorrow because. I'm probably gonna record five parts in this session. So let's see how far I'll get today. I'm probably bet into it. Yeah! So do it then. Yeah! Awesome stuff right there. I really get what the fuck this thing is supposed to be he's riding on. I mean, uh, he says it's a jet ski in, uh, you know, the Crash Bandicoot intro video. We talks about Crash 2. This, you know, and this most excellent jet ski. I mean, is this is not a jet ski, not at all. This is like a, I don't know, <laughs> what it is like a surfboard with an engine attached to it or something, and like stuff. I don't know what the hell those things at the front are supposed to be. I have no idea. But whatever. If he want to call it a jet ski, well, let him call it a jet ski. Then. Let's. Let's snap. Scrub's gonna run into that nitro crates. But I don't really get what the hell is supposed or what the hell is up with that section over there. It's not like you can get there. It's totally pointless. I mean, why the hell did they include that? Did for show? They're like probably less laughing their ass off like <laughs> people will think there's something out there but they can't go there. Bro. You know, really? Why do you wanna do that? That's not fair. But, uh, well, we're almost done with this level right now, so... Can't complain. And, uh, I assume we'll get back to the warp room. 
will end the part, right? I think this is a decent length to it. I don't know exactly how long it is, as I have some editing to do. So, um, my guess is around 20, perhaps? That's my estimates right now. I don't know. So, four. Uh, away you go. And yay, I'll box you. And the uh, speed gem as well. So that's pretty awesome. I think that's what they, where they got the time trial for. You know, with these speedy sections in these like river levels. So hang eight is done. Awesome, man. Really awesome. Do his little ugly dance. Well, oh crap! Really, a hologram? Cortex, right? Three crystals. Not bad. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. All right. Sure. We'll let you do that. So we'll just go and save the game. Uh, you will see I have some save files here already. Let's uh, save game. Uh, as you see, this is the one I beat the game on the first time, you know. And these are like some uh, files I did because I like screwed things up in this session or in this recording. Uh, pretty embarrassing, so I had to like do... No, I think this is my practice file. Yeah. I actually beat I actually beat the game on that file, and then I didn't save because I bought Cortex before saving. So that was the last time I saved, you know. You know what I mean. And then I used ah screw it. We'll go with this one. And what the hell will it be called? I think no, that doesn't fit. Uh, what the hell? Why can't we have like one, two, four, eight characters? That's pretty lame. Oh, eight characters. What the hell should we put in there? I don't know. Let's. Uh, no, that doesn't fit. That's nine. Um, bam, bam, bam. This is unnecessary as hell. Uh, okay, we'll just. Uh... Oh, man. Let's go with like this. this... Where the hell? Uh, there we go. Perfect. That's like the Swedish word for bombs. So. <laughs> yeah. Really nice. Look for it. Yes. All right. We'll end the part. This was the first part of Crash Bandicoot 2. Uh, Cortex strikes back for original PlayStation, of course. But well, you know, as always, playing on the PS3. What can you do about it? Nothing. It's rule. It rules to play PS1 games on PS3. Really awesome. So as I said, this was part one. Stay tuned for all things PlayStation. Stay tuned for uh, more Crash Bandicoot. Next part coming up tomorrow. But for now, P62 going offline.